Hey everybody, it's Bob. I'm on my way to the Cape. Gonna do a little nighttime uh, crab fishing. Hopefully I get some good underwater video. The last time I went out, I uh, did it with, uh, you know, with the camera on my chest. It's a uh, fairly good video, but I think that if I add some underwater video, it'll be a, quite a plus to it. I got the camera so it'll mount down on the end of the net and uh, let's see how it's going to turn out. Uh, I'll be starting probably about 9 o'clock and ending up about, I don't know, 1, 1.30 because I'll get back to you later. Okay, well, it's really windy, but I'm, I'm seeing crabs. There's one right there. He's probably going in the net. See how my net floats really nice? And I just put it over him, get it close, and scoop him up. And it's that easy. Oh, he's just five inches. I can tell I've caught enough. Boy, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am better than a sneaker, sir. I see that. <laughs> He's a good one. There's one on the other side too. Let's see if we can't get him. This is a good size. Crap. They put up with it being there over their head. Let's see if I can't get that other one that I saw over here. Oh yeah, he's still there. There he is. He's a big one. There. Yeah, that was easy enough. Good size too, man. That's uh, one, two, three, four. My buddies try to get me to use boats, but man. This is kind of simple, as long as you don't get yourself in trouble with mud. You have to really be careful about your footing doing stuff like this because, you know, you're in backwater areas, you're all by yourself, which is, you know, if you got stuck in the mud, it'd be really not a good situation. There's a big guy right there. It's like saying, oh no, I'm not afraid of you. There you go. It's almost like taking candy from a baby. But boy, if they bite you, 
you'll feel it days later. <laughs> I got clipped. I got clipped the other night by one. Got me in the thumb. Good thing he only got my thumb nail and part of my thumb. He got me good. Hey. All I need is the wind to calm down. It would make things a lot easier. So I'm in about three feet of water. And that guy, they say too deep is not good. Too much uh, dif diffraction. And I like the idea of being on foot. I'm in more control of what I'm doing. In a boat, I got to tell somebody what to do. See? Now right here, I see this guy. He's... Saying, no, I don't think this is a good situation. Yeah, buddy, it probably isn't. For you. Yeah, see? He's all done. Jeez, I'm crawling. How'd you get down here so fast? Sneaky, sneaky, sir. Right this way. That's a keeper right on the rocks. Ooh, he's getting a little skittish. There you go. It's a little bit difficult coming out. For some reason, the, the bigger the monster ones tend to fall right off. Here's a monster. He's like not even liking me be around here. He's challenging me. Sometimes you gotta go after him. Wow! You kinda just snuck up on me there, man. I fear you're underestimating the sneakiness, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
if you watch the, the ground content, you know, the kind of ground you're in, you're in a partial sand, sandy, and then you can get a little bit muddy. That They like that kind of mixture with some weedy areas and rocks uh, if you're trying to find them out. But always find your areas in the daytime. Don't trust going hunting for fresh areas um, when it's uh, dark, you know, go to new areas. I, I wouldn't advise that. This way you know your footing and you know what's in your area because those clumps, those weedy clumps are pretty key into holding them too. They hide, they like to hide in them. Well, here's another one. This is pretty cool. I just took my gear off and this crab came right over to me. Right over to my light. Amazing. <laughs> That's pretty darn cool. Came right to the light. I was busy doing something else. Morning everybody, I just got done uh, cooking all these crabs up from last night's crabbing and we're going to do the work part. And, uh, this is about what they look like and there's a few more in the pot. I got my limit and now it's time to work. Okay, okay so here's the first round. All set to go. Oh boy. That wasn't too cool. Actually, it was hot. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> okay, see, I have Obey in the, in the boiling water, too. Now we'll put the second round in. There you go, boys. Good old fashioned. Good old fashioned obey. There you go, guys. Another 13, 14 minutes. Okay, here we go again. Try not to fog everything up this time. There's some pretty looking crabs right there. There we go. All right, my camera's probably fogged up. Nope, oh, that's pretty cool. There we go. All set. Ready to bring them in the house and do the deal. This was roughly two and a half pounds of 
crab meat for 27 crabs, which is a good day. This is the recipe that I use to make uh, the crab cakes. I use one pound of meat and I cooked them on uh, for four minutes on each side and they tasted great. <laughs> 